Okay, what is up guys? Welcome to Big Code Hours. Today we're going to be going over what is a DDoS attack or denial of service attack. So, uh, DDoS attack is an attack that a hacker or someone with uh, typically malicious intent will use to um, take down a victim's uh, internet or server or wireless access in some sort of way, right? So, I'm just going to get into it with you guys. First, I'll just show you a little image here, and then we'll just get into maybe more details. So essentially, this is a little more detailed than it needs to be, but essentially you're going to have an attacker, right? So a host who's probably going to have like something called a botnet. So that's usually a, a network that they've created of a bunch of different systems. Maybe they've hacked into those systems, or maybe they just own those systems personally. Regardless, those systems are going to... And in this image, it shows so masters and slaves. So the masters might be um, machines that also have infected other machines or machines that have virtual machines or just machines that are sending out um, lots of data from them, something like that. So essentially, you have an attacker and you have a victim. The attacker has uh, machines that are going to be sending something called packets or it's just essentially pieces of data um, that it sends to the host. And what it will do is it'll send that uh, that victim so much data that that person isn't able to connect to the internet, or if they're on the internet, it'll shut their internet down because there's just so many packets coming in, right? It, let's say your internet, let's say you have like a hundred, um, you get a hundred megabits per second, right? Let's say, let's say the attacker is sending you five hundred megabits per second, right? If you can only accept a hundred and you're getting sent. 500 per second, you're not going to be able to access the internet um, at all. So you've probably heard about people getting DDoS or maybe a, a server getting DDoS, something like that. Essentially, that's how it works. Um, it's done off of your IP address. And the reason that is, is because you can uh, send data to an IP address. We're going to look at that uh, right now. So I'm on Windows right here. Essentially, this is um, the command prompt window. Um, let me try to make the uh, text a little bit bigger for you guys just for the moment. Okay. So, um, so here's, uh, so that you type IP config that will essentially give you all of your, uh, information for your system just for like the uh, internet stuff. So this is my IPv4, uh, address. So that's my IP address, but this is local. So, if you tried to ping that or DDoS me, you'd have to go through my network, obviously, which you won't be able to do, but that's okay. So typically this is done to people's public IP addresses, but if you're on a network with people, you can also ping people from their local IP address. If you don't know what an IP address is, this essentially is what tells the network who the computer is, right? So every computer essentially has a name um, that the network knows of. So if you're connected to that network, then you have a name. Um, this is the name that is given to your system. So if we ping that, that's my own system. So as you can see, it says we're pinging my IP with 32 bytes of data and we get a reply. Um, so essentially we're getting a reply back that it went through. So in the matter of what, uh, four seconds, we sent um, 32 times four. So what, 128 um, bytes of data. So obviously that's not very much, right? A byte is a thousand kilobytes and then a thousand kilobytes is a megabyte and then a thousand megabytes is a gigabyte so you know i think in order to get to a megabyte it's a million or a thousand thousands no i think it's like it's even i don't remember that's it's a big number so a lot of bytes makes up a megabyte um so yeah so that is how you would ping someone right so essentially in a ddos attack um, someone is going to be doing a ping or well, not necessarily a ping, but they're going to be sending, um, data to a host and they're going to be sending so much data from all of these machines that it overwhelms the machine that they're sending it to. So I'm going to show you guys an example of a script that I have written. Um, again, let's make this a little bigger so that you all can see it. So I'm just using the subsystem for Linux on windows right now so this is called ddos.py it's a python file um, essentially when we run it uh, if you can see the ascii art it says ip flush it's kind of cool um 
gives you a little dialog. So uh, essentially an outline that you can write. So you're going to write the name of the file, um, do a dash P to specify the packet count dash H to specify the host that you're wanting to attack. And then uh, minus T would be the thread. So, right, let's say you want to send, um, I don't know, let's say 5,000 packets of data, right? So 5,000 bytes um, at once to a host. Well, if you don't thread it, right? Thread is multiple processes running at once. If you don't do a thread, then essentially what's going to happen is you're going to be every second, you're going to be sending 5,000 bytes of data. It's not going to overwhelm or overload a system. You would need way more than that, right? We're probably, you're going to need like a couple hundred megabytes, maybe. I mean, it depends what it is, right? For instance, Google, you would need uh, so much that it's probably not really even possible, but for someone's average home, you might need like a hundred megabytes of data. So, um, essentially how it works is just go ahead and grab that. That's a nice noise. <laughs> okay. So I should probably turn my volume off. That's okay. So we'll go ahead and take, uh, packets and you also have MP. This will just send the max packets. You can only send, um, uh, 65, uh, thousand, like 500, uh, bytes of data at once in a ping. Um, and that's what this is actually using. It's actually using, um, ping requests from your local machine. So let's go ahead and grab our IP, IP config. So that's our IP address right there. Just using my own, right? Because we don't want to be doing it again. This shouldn't be used for malicious purposes, of course, um, it's actually illegal. You can definitely go to jail for that. If you were caught and you did it at a certain scale, probably likely not going to go to jail, but again, it's, it's, it's uh, malicious. If you were to do it with malicious intent, that's not okay. So you can use it to mess around and test things and figure out some networking stuff, but you wouldn't want to be using this for malicious intent, of course. So as you can see, I'm sending the max amount of packets to my host. So this is going to run, as you can see, there's 6,000, uh, 500 or sorry, 65,000, uh, packets or bytes of data essentially being sent. Sorry, not packets. It's bytes of data. That's the packet. Each packet is being sent. As you can see, it's 17, 18, uh, 19, but it's that many bytes. Um, again, this isn't going to do a whole lot, but if we wanted to, yeah, let me stop it. Um, if we wanted to do like more than that, we could thread it. So minus T and then let's say 10, right? Again, you could do a thousand. I've run a thousand threads on this before, and it sends like anywhere from 200 to 800 megabits per second. So it just kind of depends on what your computer can handle. Um, again, if you do like a thousand threads, that would be more like a DDoS attack because you're sending one of these a thousand times every second. So essentially you're sending 65,000 times 1,000, which would be, um, what, 650 million bytes. No, probably not 65, sorry, 65 million bytes. So a second, that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot of bytes. So we're not gonna do that, but as you can see, I press this, it's actually running. You can kind of see how it goes three, 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 four, 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 five, five, five. It's doing a uh, multiple at a time. It's only, seems like it's doing like five at a time, but it's doing more than that. It's probably just not displaying them all. Um, but yeah, so we'll stop it. Um, and you can just see there was some packet loss, um, which typically means that your, um, a DDoS has been successful, but, um, I don't think that that would have, unless my internet was running really slow there, it shouldn't have been really that much that was getting sent. There might've just been something that was dropping for some reason, or I just might have really bad connection right now. I'm not sure, but essentially that's a script. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this script and you'd be able to run it on your own. So. What's cool about this is it's really simple. You, uh, you can just enter that to get the dialogue and it gives you a layout, it gives you the syntax and you're able to specify any host, uh, any packets. And then as many times as you want to run, um, that ping attack on your computer, you can. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how to do that.